Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, my name's Matt. I'm a character artist in the video games industry. I've been working for about 13 years um, on I mean, web games, uh, RTSs, lots of MMOs, uh, uh, AAA first person shooters, all kinds of things. And on the side, I've been working on this, this hobby project. Um, maybe for about three years. I, I took a year off when my son was born, but yeah, like, like about three years um, for like an hour or two every night, just kind of chipping away at it. And I've been sharing the progress with some friends on Discord, but I thought it would be interesting to uh, to do that on YouTube, like, and to get some some feedback from people that that like aren't my friends, that don't that don't care about hurting my feelings, and um, yeah, like just just kind of see where this thing goes. It's, it's still a hobby project, but you know, um, I'd love to actually finish it. Like just getting it done would be a huge win for me. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's check it out. I'm working in Unity, um, and I'm working on this project alone. Um, so I'm having to do all the programming, animation, um, very placeholder menus like the one you see here, uh, all that stuff by myself, which has been which has been really fun. Uh, it's probably honestly what's kept me interested in uh, in the project for you know over the years. Um, yeah, it's really fun. It's like I, I spend my whole day modeling and, you know, uh, I, I don't always want to come home and do the exact same thing. It's nice to flex some other muscles for a change. Um, here's the level select. You kind of pick your kid. Um, the, the premise of the game is uh, you're, you're a kid and you're playing <clears throat> or your neighborhood has been uh, taken over by monsters and you've got to work together with other kids from around the neighborhood um, to defeat them. And you do that by um, by finding like loot and gear, um, like that's like weapons and abilities. And the weapons are made out of like fun things you'd find around the house. So here we have like, I have like a boomerang gun that shoots, uh, a boomerang shotgun. And you, here I got like a, a stinky sock gun that is like kind of like my poison gun. So all the weapons are, um, oh, here's, yeah, here I got a plunger. Um, all the weapons are kind of fun. They're not meant to be violent or anything. Uh, they're just things that a kid would, ha would have access to. Here, we'll just skip past some of this stuff so I can kind of show you uh, a good overview for the first video, just kind of what, what kind of game this is. So now this is like, now we're in the world hub uh, of the game. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of, um, it's where, how you'll get to like different levels. Which you, it's what you'll do in between the levels. Um, this is all very placeholder too. Um, whoop, whoop. but you get to ride around on your little big wheel. Um, and all the kids I think are going to have different big wheels and stuff. And you'll, you'll unlock more kids as you go. You'll, you'll meet kids and they'll kind of join your gang. Um, oh, also if you can't tell on the bottom, I'm, I'm going to support, uh, local co-op, shared screen co-op. I, um, I don't have anybody here with me right now, but I, um, I'm sure we'll, I'll do an episode on that. We'll show you how that works and stuff. Let's try to go get just some action, actually. I think uh, this was the fastest. All the levels are randomly generated, so I don't actually know. Um, uh, I don't know where, what we're going to get here. <laughs> but yeah, you can like open mailboxes. You uh, you can look inside of houses. Um, there's a chance that something will spawn in there. Um, but that's how you, that's where you'll find loot. It, it'll be all over the place, though, just depending on um, on how lucky you get. Can roll around, and the monsters are bugged out. Perfect. Well, that's game development. Um, gosh, they're invisible. What the heck? Where are they? Oh my goodness. Oh, well, that's game development. I uh, <laughs> I had something uh, messed up there, but it's sorted now. Um, so we'll continue through. Yeah, something was uh, making the enemies not render. So. But yeah, you. Oh, they're turning really slow now too, huh? 
but yeah, I'm kind of kind of going through and just tinkering with things. Um, and then the hopes is, you know, eventually, uh, eventually it'll be fun. Um, so now we're back in level select. That was like the shortest kind of first level. Um, and each time you finish a level, you'll have options to go to the next one. And at the end of each of these change, chains, there's a, uh, there's a boss level. Hey, so that was a quick look at the game. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I'm gonna try to leave in all the bugs and and things that go wrong because I, I don't wanna hide that from you guys. Uh, I think it's gonna give you a better uh, idea of the real game development process. Um, it never starts off looking as good as it does uh, in the final product. Um, it takes a lot of polish and iteration to get there. So it's, it's the same for my real job. So uh, we're going through all the same stuff here with uh, with my hobby project. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do more videos in the future. Um, we'll probably do deeper dives on some of the systems. So like, we'll maybe do an episode on weapons. We can do one on abilities, monsters. Uh, I can go over the level generation process. I think that's really cool. Um, maybe get into how I make the models and monsters, um, like how I sculpt them and stuff. Yeah. You guys haven't even really seen those yet. I have about a dozen or so of those finished, um, and yeah, maybe it'd be fun to do an episode where we go back and look at like, I have some builds that are years old where it was super gnarly. It actually started off as like a sci-fi game. Um, so that could be fun to see. And yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're curious uh, where this whole journey is gonna go, um, you know, give it, a, give it a like or subscribe and you know, come along. And yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one.